What up everyone, it is Toshi, and today we are talking about Demon Slayer Volume 7. So, I finished this last night and it was really good. Um, I'm looking forward to starting Volume 8, but obviously before I start Volume 8 I need to film this. So, Volume 7, I mean, it's great. Like, um, obviously we see Tanjiro, uh, Tanjiro, Zenitsu, Inosuke and Rengoku aboard the Infinity Train. And obviously the Demon with all the dreams and stuff. And it's pretty good. So obviously, you know, to start off Volume 7, we see Tanjiro and everyone, you know, they finish their training at Shinobu's Mansion and they're ready to leave. And they've been ordered on a mission aboard the Infinity Train where they're going to meet Rengoku and they have to defeat a demon aboard the train because obviously Tanjiro needs to defeat a member of the 12 Kizuki before he can be accepted into the Hashira because... Even though on a technicality he defeated one of the 12 Kizuki, the demon, the, the, uh, the spider boy, he didn't. It was Tomioka and Shinobu that defeated them. So, yeah. Um, but no, it's pretty good. So we see them get aboard the train and they all fall asleep and we find out that the demon sent to attack them is the final remaining member of the lower rankings of the 12 Kizuki, the, um, the dream demon Enmu. And we see that he has the ability to um, influence people's dreams. He can insert himself into people's dreams and, you know, show them things. He can make them have good dreams, bad dreams and, you know, stuff like that. Um, so he sends a group of humans to tie everyone together aboard the train. And obviously he infiltrates their dreams. So we see Rengoku dream of his uh, father and his little brother, you know, in history. We see Tanjiro um, dream of his whole family. I'm just really warm right now. Um, also, my braids are coming out today, um, which I'm like really upset about. But um, besides the point, uh, we see Tanjiro, you know, dream of his whole family. He doesn't want to leave, but he figures out that, you know, he is dreaming. He has to wake up and quite smart. He figures out that the only way to wake up is to kid himself in his dream. Because obviously when you die in a dream, you wake up in reality. Um, at least that's what science says. Um, so yeah, and then obviously we see, uh, they all wake up, we see that Rengoku states that, um, because obviously the dream demon Enmu Tanjiro attacks him, and obviously it's revealed that it's not just Enmu's physical body that Tanjiro needs to destroy, he's also been fused with the train, so it's not just like his actual physical body, it's the train that needs to be destroyed as well, so we see Rengoku state that he will defend, because the train is made of eight carts, like, in total. So Rengoku states that he'll defend the back five. Zenitsu and Nezuko have to defend the remaining three. And then it's up to Tanjiro and Inosuke to defeat the Dream Demon Enmu, which I'm more than positive they will. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty good so far. Um, I'm enjoying seeing a little bit more of Rengoku's character. He's not my favourite Hashira so far. My favourite one so far is the Mist Hashira. Um, is it Muichiro? I, I'm not sure yet. They haven't had a lot of screen time yet, but the one that's always like zoning out and shit like that, I know they seem pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, Volume 7, I mean, it's great. Like, we see them get on the train, we see them start to fall asleep, they all start dreaming, they start waking up. Um, obviously, I find it pretty interesting. We see how in the um in the dreamers um in like their subconscious mind it's very different for everyone so then goku's is very red and hot and fiery tanjiro's is very peaceful and vibrant and tranquil like um people's personality is sort of reflected in their unsubconscious realm uh same with zenitsu and inosuke um zenitsu stated that the only person that exists in his subconscious is nezuko because he's in love with her and the only person in Inosuke's subconscious is Inosuke because he likes to spend all of his time there, I guess. I'm not really sure. Inosuke is really cool. My favourite character in all of Demon Slayer so far. I like Nezuko, but Inosuke is just, like I said, he just resonates with me, man. He just makes me giggle. I like him. But um, yeah, we see Tanjiro and Inosuke begin to fight the dream demon Enmu and then it cuts off. Uh, we also get to see a little bit of Kanao's past as well, but... It's not really like a huge deal, not too much as revealed. It was just how um she met Shinobu, more or less. And um how Shinobu like took her under her care, under her wing. But um no yeah, it's great. Like we see we see what all their dreams are as well, which I think um reveals a lot about their personality. Obviously, 
Tanjiro dreams of his family, but obviously we know that he misses and values his he misses and values his family. And you know that's the whole reason he became a demon slayer was to avenge his family and to help Nezuko. Um we see then Goku's dream of his little brother and his father in the past, so we understand that he also has very deep family connections. You know, he's a very he he's a family man, you get what I mean? He's like Tanjiro, he values his brother, his dad, all of that. Uh, we see Zenitsu dream of Nezuko um, revealing. Obviously, we know that he's like in love with her and obsessed with her, but this, you know, this sort of confirms it. We see, you know, Skei's dream where he leads Zenitsu and Tanjiro when he's like the boss. So, you know, we get to see a lot of um, the, uh, the characters' personalities in this volume. And yeah, I just feel like it was really good. Sorry, I haven't got like loads to say because um, not. Not too much happened, you get me? Like, they finished their training at Shinobu's mansion, they got put on the train, they fell asleep on the train, they woke up, and now they're battling the demon. So, you know, I'm assuming more is going to happen in Volume 8, which I have by here. Um, but I'm not going to start that until later. Um, I have work at half 12, I finish at half 4, then i got to come home, take out my braids, do my hair. Um, yeah, but then I'm going to start reading Volume 8, and you can expect a video on that soon. Um, but yeah, like, Volume 7, great. Like, I know most of you have probably already read the manga or watched the anime, but if you haven't, you need to go check this shit out, man. Like, this shit is great. Like, especially if you like Bleach and, like, Shonen in action and stuff like that and fantasy. Like, this, like, it's great. Um, I also started watching Rent a Girlfriend on Crunchyroll last night because I pay for Crunchyroll, but admittedly I don't watch a lot of anime. But I'm like, look, you've got a YouTube channel based on manga slash anime. You pay for it, so you might as well just try to find... Because I just, like... I find it difficult to concentrate, like, just sitting there and watching something. Like, with a manga, with a book, it's different. Because I can, like, interact with it. I can sit there and read it and, like, get absorbed into it. But with a TV show, you know, anime or not, I find it very difficult to sort of focus for that amount of time. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to be doing a few videos on Rent a Girlfriend. Purely because I am actually really enjoying it, but... You know, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Um, stay tuned for the review of Volume 8. Because that's going to be coming out at some point within the next few days after I finish it. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. This is Toshi, signing out.